As you may or may not be familiar throughout the traveling of who I once were, who I have become, or will have become towards the future, in the unraveling of my second book has become a testament of my legacy as it has become the infinite journey from birth until death and of everywhere and everything that I have traveled upon and throughout this infinite journey of reincarnation and of astral projection and of unfolding or manifesting what has corroded beneath the surface of my flesh and bones and the genetics of my human nature of who I have become ultimately and inevitably and meeting that fate of mine entwining that in the covalent bonds of everything that I stand grounded upon surviving my near-death encounters and struggling to, to rise to overcome and still struggle to this very day in this core of human coexistence an existence that I continue to breathe the humanistic of our error among modern generation of our society the infrastructure and architectures, the the designs of our imperfections as mortality is shared among one another. And this particular demons of our struggles and our and my oceans of desperation as it were and as it still is, I were provided with an, an welcoming of open arms to either sink or swim beneath the drowning blackness of oceans should I have decided to revel in the in the vomit of thoughts or to rise above the oceans enough to reach beyond the borderline and that desperation that destitute and desolation of crossing over those certain borderlines in order to have reached beyond the astral projection of the internal structure of self to become who I am today and of all the things that I had struggled to and the suffocation to overcome and I had to ultimately resuscitate the lungs in the breath of life and finding that gratitude to being alive and breathing, searching in the navigation throughout the traveling of infinite journey of time, space, and cosmic energies and of my or our reincarnation, my desperation to have discovered my soulmate, to become who I am today. Others may have asked of me, who have I become? I become balance. 27 years of my entire human correlation of coexistence is bonded together inside the embodiment and encompassing of the testament of our of my legacy layered and traced together inside of this testament of documents that collectively bind together word by word and by page by page which has created this book of mine shape-shifting the Ouroboros of astral projection. Centuries old is our, the age of our spirits. Traveling from the reincarnation of parallel universes. Finding ourselves amidst in a purpose of a newborn of our legacy that has become the reality of the Ouroboros of today, of what it has become. Often at times I 
I have this belief where neither Jen nor neither myself had we ever found the solace of our acceptance, our place of belonging among the infrastructure of our modern archi architectural society of our sin. I s my act of desperation, I struggle so hard to try to balance myself, align the center of our walk inside the light and of our divine wisdom of the infinite relationship between ourselves and of, of God, our creator, and of my belief in mythological ancientness of our ancestry of gods and of infinite wisdom that continues to bind inside the spell binding of our circle. And it's such a struggle that each and every single day of my human life, as I believe we were not meant to be born into the modern infrastructure of our society, of our mankind. However, I feel no recourse but to sometimes bite my tongue of how I feel at least as it were, deriving from the past. However, as a philosopher, as a visionary, as a wayseer, as a realist, as a, as a visionary, as a theosophist, I believe that, you know, I no longer bite my tongue for anything in a world, often causing altercations or confrontations or conflictions against myself deriving from others on the account of my honesty and the virtues of my principles and morality. However, with this being said, I have decided no longer to have bite my tongue or to hold back the words that I push out from the deepest core of my lungs, or of our lungs. Projecting our words of influence, of wisdom, of knowledge, of, of our sacred divine fire, of our passionate intensity, or of our aspirations, our visions. So we, we, we ourselves, we refuse to change or alter ourselves for the modification or expectations or the immaculate standards of others around ourselves for the sake of their behalf and their desires to, to seeing ourselves to change. And I feel as if though we do not owe anyone anything. We do not owe anyone an explanation. We do not owe anyone an apology of all things to, of, in regards to ourselves to, to be who we are as human beings, as individuals. Our sense of belonging is not accustomed to the vibrations and frequencies of the plane of Earth's existence of mankind of how blackened it has become to the core. And rather instead, the instability of our reincarnation often at times conflicts internally within ourselves. And it's more along the lines of myself personally, being that I'm a misanthropic and of, of all the experiences I had to endure to travel throughout the the eons and centuries upon centuries of human existence. I choose to be antisocial in a way, uh, kind of be a loner for reasons considering I, I do not trust that many people and I 
I often bury my depression with with rage or or otherwise and creating these videos and especially writing my books is uh, a, 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 an, an equilibrium of a balance that finds itself as a solace of serenity and tranquility that ultimately allows me to channel much of my thoughts and deeper emotions and the humanistic side of me, of myself through the encompassing of something lesser into something greater I do not believe in a concept of like negative or positive I believe in chaos and balance according to my philosophy and my philosophical philosophical and spiritual perspectives and perceptions and views and visions or otherwise and I believe along the lines of it being more of do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law which meaning is that live your existence in accordance to how you should decide to see fit or in a comfortable aspect of your own internal circle or alternal your boundaries if you will I live my life according to how I regulate it and how I feel most comfortable with and if others cannot ex simply accept me for who I am I truly feel remorseful or pitiful towards them. And I've done nothing more than to speak speaking truth in itself as far as I'm concerned with how truth is layered with. And as a realist, I speak reality. I would never fabricate deceptions or the truth for it being misconceiving or misleading misconstruing or of anything else and along the typical standard psychological aspect and perspectives of human nature is that everyone assumes everything about everyone around them like absolute everything and it's not good enough that people cannot ask but rather instead they just completely judge you for who you are and this is such a sad thing I believe whatever happened to us as human beings to getting to know the person beneath the surface by actually having an incentive and willingness to getting to know that person beneath the surface and my message to you is that if you are someone struggling with depression I truly hope that you will have found this comfort of solace to to, to have consultant, consulting me and if anyone ever has anything to talk about or discuss or release from the openness of their mind too that they could always find that acceptance through me I understand it all much too well of being isolated or confronting myself in more ways or another or more imaginable than, than you might like to believe. And I understand all too well that feeling of solitude and of not having a social life as I still do not. Uh, at times, you know, I, I, cho I chose not to have a social life considering of how hard it is to trust in people. And the misanthropic of my human nature of my side often contaminates or pollutes all of my emotion or my impulsive thoughts. And It's a finite balance, such details that in itself is manifesting in so many ways or another. 
So if you are someone who's struggling with depression or low self-esteem or confrontations within or confronting your own demons from within, you are more than welcome to obviously reach out to either Jen or myself. And this is the purpose why we create our videos for so that we can inspire people or others such as yourselves who are watching this video in the progression of something positive or balanced towards the future through conscience awakening or awareness and of promoting that light. However, it seems as if a majority of our vastness in our population is only fixated or lustful in their interests within themselves and their selfish vanities and their narcissistic afflictions of self. And that is absolutely not the way to coexist among the correlation of our infinite universe or to be or to become who we are as human beings rather instead we should become something or someone greater than ourselves from the previous day or the previous year or the previous state of existence or consciousness in our dormant and slumber we should have risen like a phoenix or a dragon and ultimately venture out towards the unfamiliar territories and the uncharted planets and the alignment and the balance of our walk towards the future and despite of our human errors and, our, and the genetics of our infrastructure of imperfections and we could ultimately at least attempt to better ourselves in each day of our life and I myself I struggled to much like anyone else balance my walk in the light continue to share this prosperous balance and the harmony and serenity and the solace of tranquility within myself inside the light and of the ancientness of gods of our ancestries and that relationship that we have become the greatest nemesis of our own darker desires of our own worst enemies throughout my almost my entire life since I was constantly victimized as being bullied throughout growing up as a child and in the educational systems and ultimately what has been done to me has created me what I have regret looking back at what has been done to me to, in order to have created me or crafted the designs for who I have become even if it meant my last breath I still would write my books I still would create these videos and I still would be and remain for who I am as an individual as a human being as a person to fight against the the vices of human nature to reveal it to expose the darkness the, uh, the eternal struggles from within inside and out I still will have to travel throughout the astral projections and astral planes of existence of our infinite universes for the remainder of my human existence, from birth until now, I've struggled so much in my entire life to remain inside of this realm of happiness or acceptance of self. Or furthermore, at least, you know, to be positive. And of searching for, excuse me, searching for my balance, searching for a stable ground to which I'm able to manifest nothingness into completion or perfection as I had found that. In the account of my book it will have explained so much more as to just everything. It's just 
too long to talk about in the video, but, you know, once you read it for yourselves, you would be able to further understand it. Even despite that I often struggle within myself and this confrontation of self, I do everything in my power as much as possible to to continue to walk towards the light and towards the future. So, hope that every one of you who are watching this video will continue to have a balanced life and be and stay balanced in everything that you do as a human being to continue to push against the inertia and to have discovered that internal beauty of light as it just manifests itself and becomes who and what you are for everything that you are. Even despite that my lungs the lungs of my heart or my faith becomes jaded or corroded or blackened so much at the core where it drowned itself. I continue to walk upon the planes of existences, both physical, the physical reality, and a reality that travels deeper beneath the doors and different portals found within myself so well, thank you everyone for continuing to support us and for believing in us and for those of you who continue to do so thank you so very much and it does mean the world to us and it truly helps with my chaos and depression and uh, sometimes it consumes in its entirety and it just swallows the completion of me of myself so oh, thank you everyone so much and see you guys soon